must have been moon glow way up in the blue it must have been Sugar. Two one six two five to get you into it. One one two three and <laughs>
Oh yeah, ho ho ho! You can feel the holiday energy <laughs> just dripping off the stage into your little paper cup for you to uh, throw in away in a recyclable can. Hey, we have Helen Holt here, and uh, Martin Pendergrass. Let's give them another hand. Excellent music, excellent songs. Um, before we go to a video rolling, you want to do a shout out to anybody? There's. Uh... Hi, mom. <laughs> <laughs> sure to uh, come by and visit my studio, Helly Welly Lamps. Okay. Uh, I have a few lamps here that I brought to show you. Where I like located? to, I'm located at Dwight and McGee in Berkeley. Yeah, Berkeley. And um, <laughs> open by appointment right now. Uh, here's a, a little something I put together for somebody who uh, kept having dreams about Marie Antoinette wearing cowboy boots and she was an insomniac and uh, she liked to swim. Okay. And here's one that I brought. I thought maybe, Stoney, you could uh, uh, think of what we could do with that. Well, I'm not we, sure could, uh, we could fix that. put uh, a dog house on top, and then the dog would have to jump over Uncle Sam to get into the dog house. That's it, a good it would idea. show Ooh. smart there dog. Okay. <laughs> uh, and then I have yeah. the, these uh, stress balls okay. for sale. Stress so balls, all right. Uh, all right. Happy holidays, everyone. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to take a short video break, and we're going to come back with uh, Amy Thomas uh, from uh, Pegasus Books about talking about alternative ways to just get gifts going in a different way. Okay. We'll see you in a minute. Wow. Thank God. It's happy every day. Well, you can't take my guns away. I got a constitutional right. Yeah, I gotta be ready if the cop is attacking the night. Tell me now or believe me later. I will be the governor of California. I don't need your money. I got lots of my own money. I don't need you, but I do want to be the governor. If you see my films where I kill a lot of people but I make love to no one, that is how simple I will be as governor. If it's right for the people, I will do that for the people. If it's not right, I will not do it. So believe me now, or I'll tell you later. Vote for me tomorrow so I can have your money later. Oh yeah, it's Stony Speaks. You know this show, don't you? The last breath of fresh air on the planet called free speech. You know the First Amendment? Taking a couple hits, couple rocket shots, couple bullet shots from the Bush administration. Yeah, we got people on TV accusing actors of speaking out on the issue of war. My goodness, that's like blaming a duck for swimming. And holy smokes, welcome to the circus called California Recall Campaign. What are they calling? Just for the campaign to recall one politician, I hear on TV with what little credibility I have flowing through my veins like the Rio Grande. I'll tell you right here, we need to recall all the politicians. That's right, round them up, put them on a Greyhound bus, and ship them out to the middle of Utah someplace and let them walk back to wherever they came from and maybe then they can earn the right to sit at the table of the democratic value system that we have here. Yeah, we're talking about a country that has suspended habeas corpus, who's now about to launch satellite programs to watch every lip move that comes across your face so they can detect an anti-government slant on your coverage of your own life. What kind of country is this turned into? from taking a swim in the Lake of Liberty to wiping off the goo of neo-Krypton, neo-Republico, snot ball, Yale skull and bone, never worked a day in his life, never went to Vietnam, Mr. Bush, but now, you know what they have now? <laughs> Get this, they have an action doll based on G. W. Bush, you know, when he did that little uh, PR thing where he landed on the aircraft carrier, he got on, he put the helmet under his arm, and he thought like he had actually fought 
in the war that he created. Yeah, now they got an action doll. So, you know, mom and dad, make sure you keep that away from the kids. That definitely could be damaging to your health. Oh, yeah, hey, we got a pretty good show for you tonight. I do want to declare right here on TV tonight, I am a candidate for the governorship of California. No, I'm not on the ballot. You know why? It costs $3,000. That's still a system run by people that would charge you the lowest amount of money a poverty level in this country. $3,000 to put your name on the ballot. I think yeah, we're back at Stony Speaks TV, and we're talking to Amy Thomas. Uh, you have a different way of looking at holiday shopping. I do. I'm here to encourage people to think about shifting their spending locally and thinking about all the things that happen when you spend money locally. Um, and when, that, when you shop at a locally owned, independently operated business, you do a great deal more than just shop. Yeah. You, um, <laughs> I'm reading my notes now. <laughs> <laughs> you keep money in the economy. You embrace what makes us unique, right. our town unique. You create local jobs. Mm -hmm. You help the environment. Mm -hmm. You nurture community. You conserve tax dollars. I got another one. Regional pride. Regional pride. Berkeley. Berkeley. SF. What makes we Berkeley Berkeley? That's right. Not the chain stores. <laughs> That's right. You create more choice. You took advantage of our expertise. Uh, you invest in entrepreneurship. And these things are all, but the most important and actually the icing on the cake is that also when you spend a dollar locally, about 68% stays in the community mm -hmm. as opposed to about 43 cents when you shop at a local, at a national chain. Mm. So we think there's a lot of good reasons, especially when times are hard, to think local, to shop local, and to bring our dollars back where they are, can do the most good in our mm -hmm. own communities. Mm -hmm. Now, do you have a website to go to? We is do. It? Okay. BuyLocalBerkeley.com. Okay. And wherever you see this um, logo, that you know that that store is or business person is um, a locally a, a local person. They're a neighbor, as well as being a local merchant or business person. We encourage you to shop there, not just at Christmas though, or at, in the holidays, but all the time. Okay. Well, is there anything else we should know about? buy it locally besides just do it right just I mean, do it and yeah. you know every everybody likes some of these other chain stores we're not asking you to just be pure overnight oh, but if no, you can don't shift <laughs> some of your spending you know yeah. just two more dollars mm -hmm. that's all we ask out of the mm -hmm. ten bring it back home a little bit all right then you can keep your love affair with your own secret you know chain store but that what you if like. we don't love any <laughs> if you don't love any of them you have lots of choices in that's Brooklyn. right that's right lots of choices Okay. Well, Amy, thanks for coming down. Thanks for having we, me. We Stanley. really appreciate you, and sure we're going to nice buy locally and uh, <laughs> do that again. So, um, um, go ahead. You okay. Can take Thank off. You. We're going to get the next poet up here. Um, uh, yeah, if you just tuned in, you're watching Stony Speaks TV. The wind is howling out there, the sun is burning through the crust of a. a, a